I should have never told you that. So there's a submission <laughs> right there, that? right? <sighs> I can tell my butt is sweating. <laughs> is that normal? You know, it's summertime in the Southwest. <sighs> Let's move your left hand down. This almost feels good if it didn't hurt. We got Shannon Baszler here, previously in Invicta, Strike Force, Lead XC, UFC, but you guys know her from WWE. Uh, Four Horsewomen, um, the one that beats everybody up. <laughs> <laughs> the, the evil laugh. Um, always the face. Uh, all, always. <laughs> always. Always the face. Um, she had a two-time. You got a, you got a, you know, two-time. Yeah, two-time two 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 NXT champ, two-time tag champ, two-time number 30 in the Rumble. Yeah. What else? And she's also Put a... Put me over, guys. She was at the champ over. rack. She was at the champ yeah, rack lifting. Yeah, I lifted at the champ rack alongside Raquel and Rhea, who everyone's like, oh, they're so strong. I lifted at the same rack as them. Boom. She did. She did. I'll admit. Anyways. <laughs> she's kind of a big deal. <laughs> Anyways. Kind of a big deal. I wouldn't mess with her if I was you. <laughs> but she's used to getting body work like this done, so. Um, ankle, what else do you want to work on? Uh, I mean, you know, uh, just some general maintenance. I don't have any, like... Lat, lat glaring nose. issues going on, but just I know just generally I'm messed up. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. So so neck tension, lat yeah. stuff. Yeah, that type of stuff. Okay. Let's go ahead and look straight down. So what was it that made you want to transition over to wrestling from MMA? So what the particular, the uh, I mean, like any fighter, I did jujitsu, muay thai. All the stuff you're supposed to do, boxing, wrestling. Um, but the particular art that I um, favored was catch wrestling. Uh, you know, Josh Barnett, mm -hmm. um, Sakuraba, yep. famous catch wrestlers. Um, Gracie Hunter. So. Gracie Killer, Gracie Hunter. Catch wrestling is professional wrestling so catch uh, uh if we were gonna do like let's have a a match under catch wrestling rules it's gonna be i finish you by pinfall i can pin you to the mat or i can submit you and um in the old days of catch wrestling once you became proficient enough at fighting you were allowed to then make money which is do the professional wrestling part. So uh, you actually had to prove yourself in the fight world before you were allowed to do to perform in a professional wrestling match. Hmm. So I think just the natural progression of studying the, 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 the particular art and just kind of like wanting to dig deeper into that. And then also coincided with, I think if you talk to every fighter that did, that's done it for a long time, there comes a point where I, it just wasn't fun for me anymore. I didn't love it anymore. Uh, I wasn't nervous behind the curtain anymore. That's what they say you know, right? Yeah. And I know because I started losing matches that I know I shouldn't. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not to take anything away from any of the girls that have beat me, but kind of that happened. And then um, I had a partial tear in my ACL. That was real deep. You know, it's even for to growl out of it. How's your neck? Tight. It's tight. It's almost um, like we're on our phones all the time. And... Uh, My whole neck just feels insane. <laughs> do this. You have the most insane neck? Feel like a bobblehead? It feels really, really good. <laughs> good. So yeah, I fought Amanda Nunes. I fought Amanda Nunes. I got a partial tear in my ACL in that fight, and so we knew I would be on the bench for a while. And then, especially like in the UFC, you kind of never know when you're gonna fight again. So, and Josh could just tell. I remember we had this moment in the medical room when they were checking my knee out, where it was just like he could tell where I was at. He's fought, you know, right. much longer than me. And uh, later on, after. You know, a week or two after, he just was like, what do you think about seeing if the UFC will let you do some pro wrestling in the meantime, just to take your mind off of fighting, see if we can't get that, like, hunger back. Right. And, of course, the UFC said no. And so we just asked for release. release. And, you know, the understanding at the time, I'm thinking I'm going to be a fighter forever. So I was like, yeah, when I want to start fighting again, we just let the UFC know. And I go back in the testing pool and... And whatever, but I ended up like going to Japan and um, 
living and training in a in a in a pro wrestling dojo there. And if you know anything about Japanese wrestling, it's it's a lot more realistic, I guess, right. than like Sakuraba was a professional wrestler. Guys like New that. Japan's the only place you can get seven star matches. <laughs> yeah, basically. But so over there, it's a lot. Um, my style. It was where I first got comfortable with. You know, I don't flip around, I don't fly around, I don't jump off the top rope, and I wanted to be that person like anyone wants <laughs> the crowd to love you, but when I went to Japan and lived over there and trained and it was like the first time the audience like understood what I was doing, mm -hmm. and I realized that I loved my style and I became comfortable with the crowd not ooing and aahing at everything, but now the WWE crowd, if you watched when you were at the show tonight, they have to like close their eyes at some of the stuff I'm doing, so. <laughs> That's Very my vicious. that's my favorite part. Very vicious. My favorite part is like I'm wrenching on Raquel's leg and there's someone in the crowd that has to like watch from between their fingers. It's my favorite thing. Mine too. <laughs> that, I love that, it. The, uh, the RNC we were like, wait a second. Is she going to go out? <sighs> yeah. She can go out. But, but we thought you might. Yeah. And that's what mattered. Yes. And then she's like, oh, you, she sold the limp. I was like, wait, is she really hurt? <laughs> And so Natty has also kind of coached you. Yeah, so and Natty, Natty and I were friends before I was in the WWE. She came to like, I, I trained at CSW with Eric Paulson and Josh Barnett okay. most of the time in, in, in California. And Natty would come to the fight gym and train like oh, really? submissions. And, and then, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd help her with submissions and in turn she'd help me with pro wrestling stuff. And uh, she helped me get my job. Oh. She's the one that told the coaches at the Performance Center, which is like the WWE's school, mm -hmm. the best wrestling school in the world for obvious reasons, but um, she's the one that kind of told them, like, told them about me. Because so you have a passion for this. It's <sighs> hard to find people that have a passion for it. Mm -hmm. And if people, like, remember anything about my MMA stuff, I always was like known for doing submissions that were, um, you know, not necessarily an armbar and a triangle choke. It would be like, oh, I'm doing an ab stretch and I, I, I hit like a, or wait, what's it called? A twister. That's what they call right, it. Twister. It's an ab you stretch pull, in wrestling. You put it on over your shoulder. And yep. And like the Shayna wing hammer lock like just yeah. stuff that uh, isn't your typical MMA submissions but it's because I was doing catch wrestling and literally every hold in professional wrestling even the cartoony looking ones that you think are ridiculous mm -hmm. come from some real submission from somewhere right like I said the more I studied catch wrestling and I was always a fan of pro wrestling they the the paths crossed at just the right time so now when you say you were always a fan of pro wrestling does that mean uh, so, so you're about my age, so did you grow up watching... Like Ultimate Warrior? Yeah. Yeah. Ultimate Warrior was my first favorite wrestler. Okay. Um, and then as I got older, I and I was like doing amateur wrestling, I liked the... Um, I liked the... Uh, technical guys. Mm -hmm. Dean Malenko, Regal... Oof. And then, um, and then it was it was funny because I think in the general culture, the WCW cruiserweight division was like really eye opening for people, mm -hmm. you know, with Eddie and, and Ray and those guys. It was um, something a lot of people, you know, Vince obviously being previously a body guy, uh, people hadn't seen that kind of high flying. Movement. Yeah, and watching the guys do like I started recognizing stuff from amateur wrestling, and then um, did you wrestle amateur growing up? Yeah, so my okay. my my dad and my uncle are were were high school wrestling coaches oh my god Oof. so you guys all have family family lineages oh. wrestling wrestling mm -hmm. is that tight Gina? yeah that'll wake you up i'm sweating oh man that's why i moved the temperature down to 66. yeah i'm so nervous i knew her lats and, and subscap were gonna be Right. It'll clear, though. But I love I love catch wrestling because I feel like um, 
there's a whole uh, with the advent of the UFC and its rule set and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Up and down. There are a whole like branch of submission holds that are available simply because the person is avoiding being on their back because right. the pinfall was a way to lose. Sure. And so those submissions are kind of getting lost because Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, it's fine to be on your back. Even in the UFC, I mean, it's not ideal, but it's it's not the end of the world to be on your back. Of course, pride rules can kind of solve that a little bit. Yeah, start the, and the different rule sets, <laughs> but that's why those wrestlers, the catch wrestlers, were really successful over there. Right. right? So, um, um, the baby faced assassin. I really feel like because I trained with Billy and Josh and these guys, it's like a responsibility I have to keep kind of that alive. Okay. So you feel like you're carrying the uh, the, the torch <laughs> yeah. in a way for the catch wrestlers. That's awesome. <sighs> Same thing over here. Oh. Face the roof. I, I get like a nervous laugh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. It's really intense. I'm wearing a gray shirt. I'm going to pit out too. <laughs> right on the camera. It'd be like that. That's why we're black. <laughs> we're gluttons for punishment. You know? Obviously, what you do for a living. <laughs> I feel really good right now. You know what's funny about it too? I like a good, like, hard hitting match. I do too. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, a little stiff. It's, it's easier. Yeah, for some like, But I don't know if it's because I come from fighting or. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> With her kids. Did you used like, to? I, I, I've over the years I like things light and nice and feathery, but Ronda's hard hitting. So <laughs> Ronda's like Jaina. They're like two like bulls in china shops <laughs> you know what you say that but i remember being at your house and your dad was there and your dad was like put a wrist lock on me and you put a wrist lock on him and oh. your dad jim the anvil yeah. nightheart was like oh natty no one's ever put a wrist lock on me like that what the hell my dad did accuse me of being really stiff a lot <laughs> wrist locks suck man they suck so bad all right let's sit up straight and go hand on hip so pull that elbow back hard. Oh God, Solid that's thing. sore. Yeah. Same thing here, pull that hard. I did upper Solid. body yesterday, that's my fault. <laughs> you know? That's my fault. That's my fault. <laughs> like it, was, it wasn't sore, the movement. Him actually pushing on the deltoid. Oh yeah. The okay. front deltoid. Yeah. Yeah. Stick your arm straight out like that. Solid, okay. Yeah, it's just tightness. Yeah. It's literally just sore, I can tell. Ah. So if that like, if the arm gives there, that tells us the bicep is out of, out of position, but it's not, it's fine. Oh it's boy! I should have never told you that. So there's a submission <laughs> right there, that? right? <laughs> but I'm in a bad I'm in a bad place for an armbar for her right now. Uh, yeah, you would both are though. To be fair, <laughs> it's a pretty neutral position, and I'm the one in pain. So. True. You're giving a position first. So. Oh. Is that what, so? The fight last night was that the prediction you had was Yuri by submission? <laughs> No! <laughs> well, that was a crazy ass fight. Man, just out of nowhere. It just really tells you, like, uh, I always I said when, when you were fighting, like, I think upsets happen more in MMA than any other sport. Right. It's crazy. Just because literally until the last, like... How'd you score the 125 uh, bout? Um... Shevchenko uh, and Santos. Uh, Do you find a so, bar? So... Shevchenko lasted or landed more, right? But I think the damage was done by Santos, so I guess. Depends what you favor. I think there was yeah. a lot more submission threats and you know, having somebody's back and, and face cranking for three minutes should, <laughs> should count for something. Ah, yes, but, I agree. But the new rule set is not very grappling friendly. And when I say grappling friendly, I mean submission attempt. Well, when you think, think to me, like submission attempt control. is just like knocking somebody down, yeah. right? Like they're in danger. Like if they don't get out of that position. When someone has to give up a position because they're getting attacked, I right. think that's as close as like dropping some, or agree. at least making them stupid. I agree. So, but the you know the boxing judges don't tend to see things that way. So take that right hand, reach down towards your foot. Oh God. And shrug, and reach, <sighs> and shrug, and reach. So who would put who would you put on your uh, wrestling Mount Rushmore? And this is a running joke we say we're five five people because there's only four on Mount Rushmore. Um, I think you'd have. And it's yours. I only think yours. like Ultimate Warrior for me because he was my first favorite. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. I think. Uh, oh, it's hard to think. And they finally figured out the niche of the channel. Oh. Bruno Sammartino? Okay. Strong choice. 
This isn't like eating hot wings, but it's probably close. Yeah, it's kind of the same idea, right? <laughs> uh, I can tell my butt is sweating. <laughs> is that normal? You know, it's summertime in the Southwest. <sighs> I can't. I can't exactly profess to a dry butt myself, so. Um. And I, I guess I'd have to pick like two women. Definitely not Natty. Not me. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> she said definitely not Sheena. I'm joking. Um, um, get your shit together. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna say. Uh, You're like stuck a little bit there. Manami Toyota. Wow. All right. Yeah, you're right. You're right about that. Strong choice. Nobody's had that one yet. And probably. Akira Hokuto. Okay. So I don't feel much on this side. But I feel, feel that yeah, right there. Yeah. And a little bit there. Mm. I was a little stuck on that one. Alright, so we're gonna bring it right there. Let's move your left hand down. There we go. Just one more on the bottom. Right hand down this time. There it was. How about there? Oh, that's way better. It's gotta be hotel pillow. <laughs> That's gotta be the hotel pillow. I don't think they're good for you. They're terrible. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get some motion in this. So point your toes down. Yeah, and then raise them up. Brady stuck. So let's go right there. I'm gonna oh, have you point God. your toes down. There's the submission. Oh, this is where it is. This is where you're gonna wanna hold my hand. Hold her hand. Hold your hand. Oh. Toes up. Can I hold them? And then down. <laughs> and then up. Oh my god. You and then down. It. And then up. And down. Oh, I, mine weren't just that. And down. I like the subtle, the subtle videos. <laughs> and down. You good? Jay, you want me to hold your hand? And down. And down. Okay, Alright, there's a good spot. <laughs> We're gonna hold that till it fades. You feel okay, Shayna? <laughs> this is exorcism over there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Shana, you good? Emily Rose I happening right now. No, no, no crack. No crack, no crack, no crack. You're Shana, toughen this out. You're Shana two time. You gotta be strong. So there's definitely some, like, tendonitis here, too. Because obviously I can't reach in and touch where the bone spurs are. Yeah. So the fact that it's so tender on the outside. So if you don't get good ankle range of motion, you're gonna get tendonitis, too, and they just layer on top of each other. Right. Sometimes, sometimes I have Matthew do this shit to me, but I hate it so much that I sometimes pretend it's fine. So what I would tell you... <laughs> Get a get a scraper tool and just do it in the oh shower. Oh my god! Top. Okay, Shane, help me strong. I don't know if I can do that to myself. You don't have to go this hard. He's so pulling now. It's you can you can accumulate it. Like if you do lighter pressure, but every day it'll add up. Okay. You ready for the crack? Toes down. And back up. Uh, down. You're doing great, sweetie. Oh, you're doing great. Pressure uh, only. There we go. And toes down again. A little better up again. Better on the top part. All right, let's flip over on your stomach. This is gonna suck. Oh no! Oh god, this is the shit Matthew does. Oh, it's, I, I sometimes cry for my mother. Sorry, Matthew. <laughs> mm. And Mark and Luke and John and <laughs> all the gospels. Yeah, and the other ones I was I was missing out on the Gospel of Natty. <laughs> totally not on divas. So <laughs> there's your new show title. I know. Tell you the gospel. The gospel <laughs> of Natty. You know, it's the hard gospel. A, um, Love that. I had a fixator in it, and there's probably like places where you can feel the scar from the screws being in it. Right. Okay, I'm gonna pull this down just a tad. There we go. Yeah. Go ahead and flip over. The Toes down. The talus is what I broke. And then up. Does that up feel better? It does feel better. I hate to say it. <laughs> I'm gonna come to right there. I got a little. By the way, I can't put on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> you can put a horn over it. Time it just <laughs> Alright, let me have you stand up. I'm gonna have you stand on that side of the table. And you told me you like hard hitting matches. <laughs> this is my, my robot ankle. I always complain this about This is my cyborg ankle. Let's put the left foot up on the table. Oh god. Captain Morgan style? Yeah. Admiral Nelson, where we're from. Oh no, this is going to be one. terrible. So lean forward and bring that knee past my shoulder. Oh god. Keep going. 
Now let's lean back and straighten up and really try to stretch the top of the ankle there. So this upper, is what they do, right? Upper body more forward and knee straighter. Yep. Oh god, I can't. So try to pull back. Good. Okay, forward again. Look, he has to put all his body weight on my tail. It's just to get it to slide back so I can have range of motion. Wow. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Back. Try to lose weight. Mm. And then forward. Oh, man. Good. And back. Where's that limiting on the front of the back? Um, It feels more... Oh, on the front. Yeah. I mean, I do feel like a pinch back here, but I feel like... Forward I don't again. know. It's kind of everywhere. Everywhere. The whole ankle is good. This almost feels good if it didn't hurt. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> By that. And back. 100%. I know. Yeah. Yes. I, I have the same thing on my left ankle. I have a bunch of bone spurs in there. <laughs> this one is the. Yeah. But yeah, I have to wear like lifted shoes now when I squat because I don't have the ankle range of motion to like squat mm -hmm. deep. The new trend is all slam board squats anyway, so. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Good rep. <sighs> Take a few steps and see if that feels any better. Oh, God. I mean, yeah, it feels better because it was in so much pain. <laughs> you okay? Does motion feel any different? Yeah, yeah, it feels good. It feels really good, actually. <sighs> oh. Go down. Oh. All right, baby breath and bite down just a little bit. There we go. Oh. Okay, yeah, I love that. I told you that <laughs> wasn't gonna work. Like <laughs> that's the the ankle stuff. That's... Are you ready? To we all have our like weird spots of terribleness, right? Yeah. Where'd you feel that? I'm gonna drive down the center. Uh, yeah. Actually, I felt it even a little bit in my low back too. That's the nice thing about the pins is it you yeah, know, opens yeah, up the lower right. back. So if you don't have the pins, it doesn't pull the, the lower back down to get the low spot. So the traction will get the upper back and the neck, but right. It's a different animal on that one. So let's go on your side facing that way. And then I'm gonna have you bring this knee to your chest. And then back down. Oh my God. And back up. Uh, this was my reverse lunge step ups today. <laughs> Feels really great. And then uh, you guys oh. were done Las Cruces? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh. So down too. Oh. Jason gym down no. there? So you guys have a gym in every city? Uh, if you can find one, I went to a Planet Fitness. Oh, okay. <laughs> also luckily, we're girls and we're not big, like, Body heavyweight guys. sized guys because. <laughs> so we need the heaviest weights. To like, so oh! <laughs> Switch sides. Same rack! <laughs> Same rack. Well, those 50 pound dumbbells that they have at the, that's the heaviest they have at the hotels isn't gonna do it for me sometimes. Okay. So, sometimes. I'm like, I need at least an 80. <laughs> so, like, the, th the thing I was gonna say was even if all they have is up to 50 in a hotel, I can at least get a. A decent workout. Yeah, that's if true. I'm, I'm not getting like I'm not. So you don't have to have a power. I'm not doing like time. a two rep all strength thing. Back. Yes, but that's I'll at cool. least be able to be like, like yesterday I did three 60 second rounds with the 30s, as many bench floor press as I could do. Oh shit! <sighs> like stuff seconds? like that. Yeah. yeah. Where I'm like I'm trying to get a 30 with the 30. That's my goal. High rep. Like, can't get. High rep and like super setting stuff so that you get. Oh. The Spider wrists. Yeah. Different animal. Both both feet here. Squeeze together real hard. Ooh. All right. Let's stand up. Let's get that upper spine. Look up a little bit. There it was. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. My ankle feels really good, actually. Yeah. Good. I, feel like I, feel I, great. I. It's so <laughs> stupid because I hate it so much that I really do like. The guy I go to back home, I'm, I'm like, nah, it's fine. it's fine. But really, I just need to bite the bullet and just keep get, working on it. Keep working on it. Yeah. Because the thing is, is if, like, if you don't keep the motion there, your body will just keep putting more bone down, so it's going to speed up faster. Yeah, you're right. So, but if you do, if you scrape like with a with a gua sha or whatever in between. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, something like this. Take me. Oh really? Yeah. Ooh. I feel like this is. <laughs> like it'll come back. You might, you might be careful getting on uh, through TSA, but um, so you just put put your foot up there, soap, shower gel, or whatever, and you're you just gonna sleep. On that top. Yeah. So you're gonna be you're gonna find all the little small joint spaces where there's crunchies like that, and you could do you could do that pressure until you get you know more of it out. All right. All right. But if you do that, you know, daily for a few weeks. I can like definitely you, tell I don't like it. 
you'll make a big difference in it. I think part of it is like as you get closer to the scar. Sure. They. It's nervy. Yeah, it gets like. Feels so you, weird. So you can stay out of that area, but like and then around here around the heels oh, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Because the the you know the ankle and the foot there's there's two joints there's the tailor and the sub tailor mm -hmm. so you need the calcaneus to move side to side and the ankle to move there too. Mm -hmm. If one doesn't move and you're creating motion in the other one, you're going to create more arthritis on the, on the opposite side. So you're not going to backtrack it, but you can stop it from progressing somewhat. Right. You know, which will give you more buy you some time exactly. Before I have to take five months off. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the bank account until you have to take a, a breather. Yeah. So make sure you guys go follow them Instagram, Twitter, you guys TikTok. And... Mm, too old and crotchety for that crap. Yeah. Understandable. Uh, Understandable. I'm just QOS Baszler on everything. Oh. I, except for Twitch and QO Spades. Yeah. yeah. So subscribe, follow, Cash App, fundraiser, everything. <laughs> yeah, ask them to get more into politics because we know the fans love when wrestlers get into politics. Oh, so. gosh. <laughs> yeah anyway we appreciate you guys coming in show them some love uh they'll probably come into a city near you so make sure to check uh get some tickets go up front really can recommend the house shows um super fun watching them interact with the crowd is really awesome it's the first show i've ever actually been to um and we had a great time so go show them some love follow them on social media cool awesome